first thing in government schools this is going to be a problem and parents who hold to the conviction that evolution is false and I think there's good reasons to think that it's false as we I understand there's 12 different types of evolution and not all of them are false but when it comes to this thing called macro evolution I think we have good reason to think that it's utterly false macro evolution says this in the beginning there was nothing and then because of gravity or some energy glitch there was something and then from that something we have humans eventually that's macro evolution so here's the problem with that here's something I think an 11 year old could ask a teacher in a class this will go down really well <laughs> excuse me miss you say the Big Bang caused everything, but doesn't a Big Bang require a Big Banger? <laughs> if there's a Big Bang, there's got to be a Big Banger. I mean, if you've got a knock at the door, that knock did not knock itself. What caused the Big Bang? And don't you do any more heavy lifting, you grade 5, 11-year-old champion. You just sit back and let that question do its work. The other thing is, how could evolution create life you know we've got hundreds of the smartest scientific minds on the planet who for the last 10 15 years have started off with this quest evolution must have just randomly assembled the very first life form and then that life form has added information and eventually you get humans so here's the, here's the problem with that these really smart science guys have been trying to show how that was possible they have been using all their intellect, all the computer power they can muster, all the most sophisticated, technologically advanced laboratories in the world, and they still can't do it after 15 years. Hundreds and hundreds of these guys. So here's the question. For life to assemble, it requires information. That information had to be in existence before that those elements of life came together. Where did the, excuse me, miss, where did the information come from if there wasn't anything for it to exist in? That's actually a really deep question. That was the question that was asked at UCLA in the biology class of Emeritus Professor of Evolution, Professor Dean Kenyon. And when Professor Dean Kenyon was asked that question, He'd never thought about it before. He said, yes, DNA doesn't just randomly do its thing. It actually follows, it keeps checking the instruction manual and says, all right, the red to, yeah, okay, got it. I was at C, T, G, A, and it has to put those letters in the right order to form these little things that look like popcorn. And each of the pieces of popcorn, which is amino acids and proteins, locks in perfectly with another piece of popcorn that's got just the gap ready for that bit of popcorn to go into. And, it ha and it's all, they're all playing their part because of the assembly instructions. Where did, where's the, where did the assembly instructions come from? In fact, the assembly instructions are so detailed, if you wrote them out, they would form, you could lay them up in volumes like yellow pages of the phone book, and it would reach from here to the moon to put a basic genome code together for a bacteria. From here to the moon. That's the assembly instructions. No wonder these bright guys can't do it. Now, I think that's a reasonable question for an 11-year-old to ask. The Big Bang requires a Big Banger. And how did life begin? I believe in cr that creation is true because I have good reason to believe it. That would be my answer. If the teacher says, do you believe in creation? I'd say, yes, I have good reason to believe it. Now, where most teachers think, when they hear that coming from a student, they think the student's saying, I think the earth is flat. I think there is nothing outside our solar system. It's all a conspiracy by NASA. Men did not land on the moon. They did it in the studios of MGM. And the Earth is about 400 years old. That's what they think you're saying. So when you can explain, no, I think there was a Big Bang. I just don't think it banged itself. And it happened whenever you say it happened. I don't care when it happened. I know it happened.